Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the ATI study manual, the sixth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. We are on page number. 79 and today is our lesson number 128. We'll do power number 3. Power number 3. It says in power number 3 is a strange kind of question. It says find the matching pairs of rates and unit and unit rates so they're giving us some rates and our job is to match those rates with the unit rates let's see what we can do answer choice A says 8 ounce per 2 gallon 8 ounce per 2 gallon as you can see as you can clearly see it's not a unit rate it's not a unit rate because at the bottom we don't have one we have two this is so many ounces per two gallons. That's not how we express a rate. It has to be so many ounces per gallon, per one gallon. How can we do that? Well, we see eight on the top, we see two at the bottom. Let's divide top and bottom by two. If we divide top and bottom by two, two is going to become one, and eight is going to become four. And now this reduces to four ounces per one gallon. Now that is a unit rate. That is the unit rate. Now our job, so we have, we have converted the rate that was given to us into unit rate. And now our job at this point is to go through all the answer choices and see one, one answer choice that expresses the same rate like this, 4 ounces per 1 gallon. And you will see that that answer choice, 4 ounce per 1 gallon, 4 ounce per gallon, it's answer choice G. It's answer choice G. Let's look at B. Go through all the answer choices, find until the until the one that matches this thing, and that's G. The next one says 12 quart per two gallon. Again, it's per two gallon. We're not interested in per two gallon. We want to get per gallon. Again, if you were to divide top and bottom by two, six will become twelve will become six and two will become one. And now we end up with six quart per gallon. Six quart per gallon is answer choice L. Is answer choice L. Let's look at C. C is a little tricky. C is a little tricky. It says 10 miles per 20 minutes. 10 miles per 20 minutes is fine and dandy, but that is now how one expresses a speed. A speed has to be just like any other rate, just like any other rate. Speed is a rate, it's a rate of how fast you're going here per hour, or rather, how fast you're going. You see, it just quite invert, invertedly, it slipped out of my mouth per hour. It has to be per unit. Tell me. Speeds are always expressed as per hour, per day, per second, uh, per week, but obviously, typically it's per hour, obviously. How can we convert the bottom into an hour? It's 20 minutes. How many hours, how many, how many minutes does an hour have? How many minutes are there in one hour? But well, we all know an hour is, hour is made up of 60 minutes. How can I convert this 20 into 60? It's very simple. Multiplied by 3. 20 times 3 is 60 now. At the bottom, we'll have 60 minutes, which is one hour. Now we have our one unit. We're going to express this. We're going to express this as one hour. That's that's our unit rate, because it's per one unit. But since we multiply the bottom by three, we cannot simply multiply the bottom by three. If we have a fraction, whatever we do to the denominator, we must do the same thing to the numerator. Since we multiply the bottom by three, we must multiply the top by three. So that 3 over 3 is 1, 3 over 3 is 1, and therefore we did not change its value. Because multiplying something by 1 
is still the same thing. It is 1. 3 over 3 is 1. It doesn't look like 1, but it is 1. 3 over 3 is 1. It's 1 incognito. It's in disguise, but it is 1. 10 times 3 now is 30. 30 miles. There you go. So we end up with 30 miles per hour. 30 miles. 30 miles per hour. Is there an answer choice that matches that? Go through all the answer choices and see one, one that says 30 miles per one hour. And you will see that answer choice I. Answer choice I. Let's go to D. What does D say? D says 2 teaspoon per 3 ounces. Now, typically, typically, we measure our liquid either per 1 ounce or we have a bottle of 12 ounce. That's the typical uh, size in the US, 12 ounce. So we got, we're going to measure this thing, or rather we're going to express this thing as per 1 ounce or per 12 ounce. Again, how can I convert this 3 into a 12? Very simple. Multiply the top and the bottom by 4. 4 over 4 again is 1. It doesn't change anything. And now we end up at the bottom. 3 times 4 is 12. We end up with per 12 ounce. How many teaspoons do I need to put per 12 ounce? If I have a 12 ounce bottle, how many teaspoons of medicine do I need to put? The answer is 2 times 4, which is 8 teaspoons per 12 ounce. 8 teaspoons per 12 ounce. Do you see any answer choice? that matches that and that will be that will be K that will be K that is answer choice K let's carry on then we're going to move on to E we still have quite a lot to go What does E has to say? E says point zero two ounce per teaspoon. Again, here it's a little tricky because we do have unit at the bottom. We do have one at the bottom, one teaspoon, but it's very difficult to measure point two ounce of something. It's much better if I have one ounce of something. Why can't you tell me how many teaspoons do I need if I want to put one ounce? How do I convert 0.2 into 1? 0.2 times 5 is 1. Multiply top and bottom by 5 and you'll end up with 1 ounce per teaspoon. 1 ounce per teaspoon. Is there an answer choice that matches that? One ounce per teaspoon? If you look closely, oh, it's not per teaspoon, sorry. Jesus, I cannot believe I can be so lousy, so careless. This is one times five. It was one teaspoon, but we multiplied top and bottom by five, so it's going to be one ounce per five teaspoon. I even told you that it was written out as per unit to begin with, but here, it is not the bottom we want in one unit, we want the top to be the one unit because it's much better, much easier to measure one ounce of something. So we're going to put one ounce of chemical, one ounce of medicine. We're going to mix it with five teaspoons, not one teaspoon. And that is answer choice M. That is answer choice M. Let's move on. Let's see what F has to say. F says 2 milliliter per 1 liter. It's already expressed as a unit one, but we have to match something uh, among the answer choice. So this is the unit rate. We have to match another rate, which when manipulated comes out to be this. And if you see, 
Among the all the answer choices, you'll see one where if you were to multiply top and bottom by 42, you will see that it matches with 84 milliliter per 42 liter. 84 milliliter per 42 liter. Question now is, how do we know to multiply top and bottom by 42? Well, we don't. Simply go through the answer choices, and as you go through the answer choices, you're looking for something which has milliliter on the top and liter on the bottom. And there is only one answer choice which has milliliter on the top and liter at the bottom, and that's this answer choice with 84 and 42. But if it's 84 on the, on the top and 42 at the bottom, how do I convert 2 into 84? The answer is multiplied by 42. How do I convert 1 into 42? Multiply 1 by 42. Hence, multiply this fraction by 42 over 42. And when you do that, this comes out to be answer choice N. Let's go on then. Let's see what G has to say. G is something that we have already done and we already established that G is same as G is same as A. Let's look at H. H says 120 miles per 3 hours. Again, this is the rate, but it's not a unit rate. It's not a unit rate because the bottom is not 1, it's 3. Let's convert this into a unit rate and then see which one matches with this one. Let's divide top and bottom by 3. How many 3's does 12 have? 12 has 4 3's. 4 3's are 12. How many 3's does 0 have? 0 has no 3's. 0 has no 3's. And 3 goes away, becomes a 1. So you end up with 40 miles per 1 hour. Per for one hour, or if you like, 40 miles per hour. And is there an answer choice that's 40 miles per hour? The answer is yes. That's answer choice J. That's answer choice J. Let's carry on. So that was H. That was H. I, I we found out is equal to C, J we found out just now here, we found out is equal to H, K is 8 teaspoon per 12 ounces, 8 teaspoon per 12 ounces. What can we do here? Well, is there a common factor between 8 and a 12? The common factor is 4. 4 is a factor of 8 and 12. Let's divide top and bottom by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So this reduces to 2 teaspoon per 3 ounces. 2 teaspoon per 3 ounces. And do you see an answer choice that says that? This answer choice D. Well, if it's D, we already have done it. Yes, we already did that. This answer choice D. Let's carry on. Of course, by now we have done all of them, but I'm going to go through all of them anyway. So we are at K. L says 6. This is a repetition, you understand? We have done this already. 6 quarts per gallon. If you multiply top and bottom by 2, we end up with 12 quarts per 2 gallons. And that we found out is equal to B. And then finally we have M, L, M, M which we saw earlier was same as E and N which we saw was F and thank God that is the end of it and that is also the end of our lesson for today I'll see you tomorrow okay 
final. <laughs>